One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. It's a valse. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Hello, welcome to Game Hotings. Welcome uh, to our Hotings channel. My name is Paco. Tonight we're gonna play a game that the developers gave a Steam gave us a Steam key about it. It's a Lovecraftian game. That's why I like to play Lovecraftian games. I love Lovecraft. And uh, let's see what the game has to offer. With no further delay, let's just go and fucking play. Oh, you are here. Welcome, welcome. Welcome, I'm here. Ena, dio, tria. Ena, dio, tria. One, two, three. One, two, three. I have been eagerly awaiting for your arrival. Thank you. Allow me to introduce myself. I'm the storyteller, the curator, okay? The narrator, actually. Please to make your acquaintance. I shall be your guide going forward, okay? Now, then, before we begin our story, there are several things I must bring to your attention, okay? First, this game use autosave, okay? The game will automatically save, a, save at a regular interval, so you may stop playing at any time, okay? Saving is a very important element of games. It's the only way to keep your memories in place, I know that. If you do not wish to rely on autosaves alone, you can also save manually via the menu. Nice. Next, please look at the upper right of the screen. This is the menu button, okay? From here, you can check the text logs, view useful files, and switch auto mode on and off. You can also adjust the brightness, volume, and... Okay, 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 okay. For instance, if there is a voice you would prefer not to hear, you can mute... You can mute it by setting the voice volume to zero, okay? I suggest you check the brightness control. Okay, let me check them. Open, okay. I will explain other essential functions when the time is right. Okay. Oh, uh, there is no more. There is one more thing I wish to confirm before we continue. It will feel strange to go on without knowing your name. Please tell me what I can I may call you. Ha! <laughs> Leprof! I see. Game Haunting, is it? Yes. Hmm. Are you saying you wish to be called Game Haunting? Game Haunting. Okay, yes. How rude of me. Please pardon my mistake. I was sure that's, that's what you said, but it seems I was wrong. What came over me? Let me try again. You wish to be called the prof. Yes. I see. Very good. I seem to have gotten the right this time. All right. Now that we've been properly introduced, let us begin our story. Let. <clears throat> From antiquity to present day, regardless of how society and civilization has evolved, Death has been a constant presence that none have ever escaped. That's true. Presented by Le Prof. Whether it is it is one's own or what or that of someone else, come close, that is always a difficult thing to accept. This is an immutable reality, a value set by all, no matter the age in which we they live, okay? In fact, oral traditions reflecting people's fears and prayers regarding death still remain. Ghosts, spirits, and so on, okay? Similarly, in an attempt to defy death, many curses, rituals, and customs have been born, from burying spirit in sense to summoning the souls of the dead. Are we gonna play Ghost Hunting Game? Some of those secret arts are still being passed down to this day. Oh, on that note, Le Prof, this may seem rather abrupt, but. Is there someone you wish to bring back from the dead? What if... What if you had one chance to use the secret art of resurrecting to the dead? Am I gonna be a chromancer? Yes, if you had the power to bring someone back to life one time and one time only. 
What will you do, Le Prof? I'd use it even if I can't sacrifice myself. I'd use it even if I can't sacrifice someone. I'd use it if it came at no cost. I wouldn't want it. Let someone else have it. Okay. I see. Very interesting. Yes, yes, that is what I thought you would say. That's not what you thought I would say. <laughs> what seems to be the matter? You want to know what is this box that have been sitting here? It is a television. It's quite the curious thing, isn't it? This is a multicolored television. The gold I will be sending you to is full of devices such as this that do not exist in the age you are from. In this era, a color television can be found in near in nearly every household. This is not all, for example. In if a person should wish to contact someone while they are out of their home. They use public telephones, like this, that can be found all over the city. Can you imagine what life will be in such a time? Yeah, I think I have a good idea about what the... Uh, it would be living in the, that uh, kind of time. I've been thrilled to have you continue the story, Leprof. After all, that's why you came here, no? So let us begin. I have kept you waiting long enough. Yes, you did. I present you... I present to you paranormal sight. A bizarre tale surrounding the curse known as the Rite of Resurrection. A peculiar girl, a peculiar girl insaning, insaning nine men and women in a fierce fight for their lives as it, as it unravels. Some of the characters appearing within surely share your views of the Rite of Resurrection. I imagine those who have lost someone, who have lost someone dear to them, will feel particularly strong about, strongly about it, pledging to it. As their last desperate hope. The first I shall introduce a man named Sogo Oki. He's one of them. Breaking news. Oh, I wonder what it could be such a time. Early this morning, the body of a drowned man was discovered at a park, at a park in Sumida City. Police have identified the body of Soko Oki, a 25 year old man who worked in the company in this area. At, si at signs, at signs of a struggle were found. The Sumida police suspect full play and have launched an investigation. Ah! Oh, excuse me. Please play. Pay no mind what you have just seen. Godness, you have. You very nearly saw something that would have spoiled the story. <clears throat> Just pretend you did not see that. Let us turn back time. What the fuck is that game, man? Do you understand? You saw nothing. Okay, I saw nothing. You know nothing. I know nothing. Okay. This story is a work of fiction. All locations, characters, organizations, legends, etc. that appear in this game have no rela relation to reality. Okay. Okay, now the game begins. That was a very strange intro. Soko. Soko, are you alright? Probably. I'm Soko, I'm the, I'm the man that's gonna die? Hey, can you hear me? Hey, that's not a proper answer. Earth Soko Oki. What do you think we are doing falling asleep here? You gave me quite the shock. Come on now, up with you, up, okay. Okay, and... Hello? Is it gonna be... Oh, that's how it's gonna be. Do you feel dizzy? You have a headache. Are you... Are your humors of off balance? I'm fine, I think. There's definitely nothing wrong with my, my humors. Thought... My head's still a little fuzzy. I am Soko Oki. I'm the one that's gonna die? Turn your head around a little bit to see if you can walk all right. When the game is in your control, drag the screen or move the right stick to look around. Okay. Ah! 
Do you remember anything like uh, the right of insurrection? Wait a second, why did I tell you about that? I mean, I guess I must have seen you as you know as you know that name, but weird. Anyway, you still seem a little out of it. Why don't you look around a bit more? Look around. I'm still a little loose, my man. I feel a little loose, my man. Where am I? I should take a look around. I am. I can have our surroundings. Where are we? All right, this is Sumida City, Tokyo. We were at the Kis and Kisidori Park near Kisido Kis Kisizo Station. Yoko brought me here saying that she needed my help with something important. It's just past midnight. That explains why there's nobody else around. Okay, and that's my files. Okay. Okay. Talk. Yikes, that was close. If we, if we have died before we got our hands, our hands on the right of the generation, everything will be over before it started. Okay. Playground. That's an interesting looking playground. I bet, I bet it's crawling. Okay, okay, whatever. What am I supposed to do, man? Uh. I don't know. Okay. Okay, now the story unfolds.